Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I can't believe I'm making another video on this. Not really proud how it turned out, but I'm gonna. I found that while that other video was loading, I thought there's a couple ways to make this better. So if you haven't watched the first couple, you're gonna be a little bit confused. But what we're trying to make is a moving propeller, and I'm just drawing sections of a line starting at the middle, and then I'm gonna take my Smart Fill tool, fill these fill these in and nudge them over. Well, I want the other part. Then take this and delete it. We can nudge this back over, grab it all, go up to object and combine it. That's pretty important to combine it. Now we're gonna use the interactive fill tool and we're gonna go ahead and set everything up and make the outside black. and move our slide bar up. But here's the key. Go right here to the optical fountain fill, move this to the center, and then voila, you've done all the work that we did earlier, I had to do it individually. Grab all that, go to effects, blur, and let's try, you know, maybe play around with some blur. Man, that looks, that might be the key, that's too much, but you could, you know, play around with the blur tool um, and see what you think. I've done a little bit of it and you know, you can have just a little bit of blur. That looks pretty good. And then just, you know, play with it. You know, it's kind of funny that this thing starts in the center, but then it doesn't really look like it's in the center. Let's go ahead and put it on our airplane and see what happens. I might have already grouped this together. Let's take our old propeller off, put our new propeller on. And I'm not, I'm hoping this is even what the gentleman was wanting. Um, you know, he might. And then once you put this in the center of the page, like we or in the, the front of the page, I think you'd be much more happier. But that looks pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.